Hey guys, welcome back to The Blind Life. Today we're gonna to take a look at the text-to-speech options on Android. Oh my gosh, my desk is a mess. I got this giant pile of canes over here. Can you see all these canes? <laughs> it's mostly cables. I've got cables everywhere. I gotta get organized. <laughs> So I recently did a video showing the main text-to-speech options on iOS devices, iPhones, iPads, things like that. If you'd like to see that video, I'll have a link popping out of the top right corner of your screen, also in the description box down below. But I had planned on doing a video for Android as well, and based on the comments, you guys wanted to see that also. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna to take a look at the text-to-speech options on Android. Now this is mainly for accessibility, but this can be used by anybody. So let's jump right into it and take a look at it. Now the first thing to keep in mind about Android, which makes it difficult for teaching something like this, is that there are so many different types of Android devices out there. Most all Android devices are going to have these settings, aside from one, but we'll get to that here in a second. Uh, but it may be in a slightly different area of the accessibility settings, so you might have to hunt for it a little bit. Uh, you should be able to follow along pretty well though. But regardless, we need to get into settings. So we're gonna pull down our notification shade and we're going to tap the little gear icon in the top right to jump into settings. For this, my Galaxy S10 accessibility is pretty much down towards the bottom. I'm gonna click on that. And then right at the top, you see we have screen reader. Now, Samsung has their own built-in screen reader. It's called Voice Assistant. That's what this is. Android's main screen reader is called TalkBack. So we're gonna look at that first because that's what most everybody will have, and then we'll come back to Voice Assistant. So if TalkBack isn't in your accessibility settings in the main settings, you may have to look into your vision settings or vision enhancements. If it's not in there also, it could be uh, like it is on mine in the installed services, which for me is at the bottom of my list here. Click on that and there is TalkBack. Click on it and you can turn it on, you can play with the settings. TalkBack, if you're not familiar with it, is Android's main screen reader and it will read everything. <laughs> with a little bit of a caveat. It will read everything on the screen, uh, top to bottom. If I, I can swipe left or right to hit different elements of the screen, I can tap different elements of the screen and it will read it out loud. You can turn on TalkBack here. You can also set up a hardware shortcut. Um, and this is gonna be different, like I said, for different Android devices. For my Galaxy S10 here and most of the modern Galaxy Samsung Galaxy phones, you can set it up to press the power button and the volume up button. Talk back on. And it turns talk back on. Talk back. When talk back is on, it provides spoken feedback so that you can use your device without looking at the screen. This can be helpful for people who are blind or have low vision. Back button. Okay, so that's, TalkBack is on now. And you see it reads, puts a little uh, highlighted box over the section that it's reading. I can swipe to the right. Installed services, device help off, your phone companion Swipe off. to the left. Device help off, installed surf, navigate up button. And it will read whatever it lands on. I can also touch, as I said. Your phone companion off, TalkBack on. If I want to turn it off again, just press that same hardware uh, button combination, power and volume up. Talk back off. It's a very quick, easy way to turn it on and off. That shortcut is set up in a different area of the settings. I have a video showing how to do that. I'll link that in the description down below as well. So let's go back and back up to the top and we'll take a look at the screen reader, which as I said, is Samsung's voice assistant. You can turn that on, tutorial, once again, settings. It's it's very, very similar to TalkBack. Personally, I'm not 100% sure why they created it, but you know, I guess it's cool that we have a second option. Uh, I will say that sometimes if TalkBack won't read something, Voice Assistant will, 
And but but oftentimes, majority of the times, if one won't read it, the other one won't read it either. Um, but you could jump back and forth. You can also set up a shortcut for voice assistant. For me, I've got it set to long, uh, long pressing the two volume buttons, volume up and volume down. If I long press those and hold it for a second. Voice assistant on, showing items one to five of five. Get a little vibration and it tells me that's on. Now, once again. Tutorial, enlist five items. Quick typing, use the Samsung keyboard and the keypad tutorial. I can swipe, I can. Yeah, you can swipe, you can touch and it will read it, um, double tap to activate. I mean, all the gestures are virtually the same, so it's not too difficult to jump back and forth between the two, um, and they're just slightly different. So I'm gonna turn it back off, long pressing these two buttons. Voice assistant off. And we turn it off again. So those are two options for Samsung devices um, for screen readers. As I said, normal Android devices only have the one talk back, but we have a third option. And this one's gonna be perfect for those who don't need a full blown screen reader. Maybe they can manage pretty good without it and they every now and then they just need something read out loud to them. Once again, you can set up those shortcut keys and just quickly turn talk back or voice assistant on and have it read what you want it to and then turn it back off again. I do that quite often. But the other option is select to speak. And this, once again, if you can't find it in your main settings, it's gonna be in the installed services. And for me, it's down there at the bottom. We'll scoot it up a little bit, select to speak. So I already have this turned on. And in fact, if you look down at my bottom, bottom of my screen, the navigation bar, there's a little accessibility icon, the little stick figure guy off to the far right. That is the select to speak button. So it's always there. Uh, one nice thing about this is it's not intrusive. It's not floating on the screen somewhere where you're accidentally gonna tap it. Every now and then I do hit that instead of the back button, but that doesn't happen very often. But anyway, the way it works is if I tap it, this little uh, window pops out there at the bottom. It has a play button and a stop button. But now if I drag my finger over any text on the screen, it will read that aloud once I lift my finger off. So I'm gonna drag, just kind of do a little box and I'm gonna lift my finger off. Your phone companion. Talk back. It read that little section that I had dragged over. And it only does it once. So now my finger doesn't draw the box anymore. Everything works just like normal. So that can be helpful. Like I said, if I wanted to read this large section of text here, I just tap the accessibility guy, drag right over it. And I don't have to draw a box over the entire thing, just a section. When talk back is on, it provides spoken feedback so that you can use your device without and I can stop it uh, reading just by pressing the stop button. I can pause it. The little play button turns into a pause button. I can pause it if I want to and then play it, continue playing it. Um, so that's very helpful. Now, once again, there are certain places where talkback, voice assistant, and even select to speak will not read it. Um, it's just, you know, a bug where with the screen reader on Android, it just doesn't work. One of the places is, uh, one of the places that I find it quite often is on YouTube, reading comments and things like that. I'll select a big section of text and it will say no text in this area. And that's, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. That's just one of those uh, little annoyances, aggravations of Android. <laughs> but overall, in general, this works really well. There you go, guys. So that is our only text-to-speech options in Android at this time, uh, built in natively to Android. There may be like third-party applications you can get and things like that, but talk back, select to speak. For the majority of us, that's it. Once again, if you have a Samsung device, then you're also gonna have voice assistant. So, I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button. Also subscribe, turn on notifications. And while you're down there clicking on stuff, go ahead and leave a comment. I'll be happy to help out if I can. But if you guys will excuse me, I'm gonna clean up my area here, get a little more organized. But this is Staying With The Blind Life. I'll see you guys next time.